just busted. To start out this video, I'm gonna talk about my experience with my film yesterday. I was on set for, I'm gonna say about eight hours. I had to be at a hotel for about 10 to 12. We got to where the shooting was going to happen, which is at, was actually in Newmarket, so it took us a little while to get there. I'm gonna say we got there probably about 1.30. I wasn't needed until like some of the last scenes. So for the beginning bit when we got there, I was just sitting and chatting with the girl who was doing the makeup and the girl who was playing the lead in it. And when the lead's makeup was done, she went to go shoot things outside and I got to take the makeup chair. So the makeup artist, who was awesome, did both my hair and my makeup. She was really easy to talk to, so it made the whole experience very enjoyable. I have to say that felt like a legitimate film experience because there were so many crew members. It wasn't like a student film where they only had a few people. I don't know, it really gave me the sense of what it really is like on a film set. I'm gonna try and keep these videos shorter. I'm trying my best, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. It was a really great experience for me, and this was me playing the teacher. That will be definitely something to add to my demo reel. Just wanted to share that and have Mr. over here with me. Now that my makeup has already rubbed off essentially, I'm now going to film myself. This Monday, like in two days from now, I have my audition for Theatre Ontario. I just figured out a cut today for my monologue. So because of last weekend being kind of like crazy, and also this weekend with like, I needed a day off, but also on Thursday I had to do my whole short film thing that I talked about. I'm finally actually getting into that. So yesterday actually, I went on to casting workbook and submitted to like a large number of things. Also, I bought a pumpkin today because Halloween is literally this Wednesday. Yesterday I officially submitted for it six different things on casting workbook. Also, um, I don't think I mentioned this, but I heard back from one of the auditions that I did last weekend, and they said they want me to understudy a role, the, um, not the role that I tried out for. If they have the girl that they originally cast as the role, then I won't need to come in and be used. That one's also shooting on Halloween, and now I've been scheduled to work in the middle of that day, and I'm like, Okay, I'm literally just recording this quick clip because this morning I woke up with an extremely dry throat and I swear as soon as I turn on the camera the cats decide it's time to play. I woke up with a dry throat and also like the feeling of maybe this is more than just a dry throat, maybe I feel like I'm getting sick. I'm just gonna let you know because I have an audition tomorrow, this is what I'm doing. I'm in the middle of drinking some emergency. This is what I felt like starting with. I was like, I could start with a tea that I have which is called immunity. Helps when you want something warm, but this is a cold drink and I just am nearly finished it as you can see. And I already feel better because this is just a high dosage of vitamin C, but I just thought I should add this because you don't want to be sick when you're having an audition or having to sing. Okay, so this morning I woke up with this really raspy voice, so I'm in the middle of making myself an immunity, which is what I mentioned in my last clip. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to use 911 Cold from David's Tea to get rid of this. Um, this is solely because it is so freaking dry in my room, meaning it'll dry up my nostrils, causing me to then breathe through my throat and drying out everything in my mouth and throat. I'm just telling you that's what I'm doing right now because tonight at 6.30, I will be having an audition for Theatre Ontario. Okay, so I'm about to start getting ready for this Theatre Ontario Ontario audition and I'm just going to get ready and talk at the same time. Okay, this update I have for you is kind of weird. I got contacted again by that guy who ghosted me like a couple weeks ago now. That was before Thanksgiving weekend that he's 
last emailed me and I never heard back from him till last night. He's like, oh, the project was put on hold and we're going to be shooting this Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So I'm kind of like, I already have work. You couldn't have like let me know earlier if you already have these dates in mind. Anyway, so basically I just got off the phone with my manager again to once again ask for days off because I've now read over the script which I had never seen before and I'm like, okay, there's nothing I'm uncomfortable with in the script so I'm good to go. That's what I'm gonna be doing this Saturday and Sunday. This Friday I'm going to have an audition after my work shift. I did communicate that I already had work, well until 2.30 that day and so they were pretty good with communication, the person I was talking to. They were saying, we'll see that we can work around your work schedule and if not, whatever the heck. They told me that they're actually auditioning people until 4.45 so I'm good to go on that one. Saturday and Sunday now though, like my gut is kind of telling me like, I don't know, this guy kind of didn't communicate with you at all for like a while and I don't even know him and I have the address of where I'm going but like who knows this is this is probably a house because the whole thing is set in a house and that in itself is one of those things that it's like do I really want to be going to a house it's something that I'm gonna have to be careful about and because it's shooting on Saturday I think I'm probably going to want to bring my mom or actually actually ask her to drive me there at least so she can stick around until she knows I feel safe and whatnot. It's a good opportunity, which is why I don't want to just not go. And it's a good thing for my demo. Ow! Dude! You just freaking like scratched my back! My hair is not a play toy! But yeah, that's what's new right now. I want the life they took away from me! If that makes me headstrong, fine! That's a fault! raspy and I don't know why. I'm probably dehydrated and I've had too much salt. That's definitely what it is. Pro tip, drink water. <laughs>